Hey everybody, um, this lesson is going to be talking about uh, na how to navigate through the file system. We're going to go over a few of the commands that everybody should know and be comfortable with. Let's start off by opening up a terminal. And the first command we're going to talk about is the who am I command, which uh, will let us know what user you're currently logged in as. So let's just go ahead and type who am I, enter, and you'll see that we're currently logged in as root. You can also read more about who am I by using man, who am I, and you'll see, prints the effective user ID, and it'll give you some brief information about what this utility does. Let's talk about now the TTY utility. You'll see that this shows us the current pseudo terminal, the path to the current pseudo terminal. So let's go ahead and just do a quick man on that. TTY, and it'll print the file name of the terminal connected to the standard input. So you'll see each of these terminals are considered a pseudo terminal. So if let's say we want to file open a new tab and we do TTY, you'll see that now it's dev PTS2 instead of PTS1 like we had before. Let's close this tab. The next command we're going to talk about is the which command, which we've also used in some previous videos, which will reveal the search path of a program where it's located. So let's say I wanted to know where the who am I utility was. I could do which who am I, and it would give me the exact path to the who am I utility. The next command that we want to use is the echo command. Now, you can use echo with, some, with the environmental variables, which would give you the output, well, what's stored in the variables. So let's go ahead and say echo pwd. And this will echo the current path that we are currently in. So you'll see that we're logged in as root right now, so slash root is root's home directory. Another another utility that's useful is also the set utility, which will show a list of different shell variables available to us. We can also do man on set, and it'll explain a little bit more of what the set utility can be used for. Let's press Q to quit that. Now, another useful command, you'll see right now how we have a quite a bit in our terminal window. Let's say we wanted to clear all this data from there. We could just type the utility clear and that would go ahead and clear the window so we can have something clean to write on. Some, another utility similar to clear is reset which will actually reset the screen buffer. You'll see that right now since we use clear we can still scroll up and see what we did before. Now if we did reset, you'll see that it cleared the screen buffer and we no longer have the use of that scroll bar. Another useful command that we can do is history. Now this will display a list of the different commands that you've run uh, prior to the history command. So you'll see the last command that we ran was history, then reset clear, and so on. Now, let's say, actually let's open up history again, and let's say we wanted to rerun the man set. So line 86. So what I would do is bang 86. And you'll see that it reruns man, well, line 86, which was man set. Let's press Q. Um, let's go ahead and talk now more about the PWD utility. You'll notice that earlier we did echo and we printed out the variable and it would give us the path that we're currently in. But we could also just type PWD which would also output the exact same path. So PWD is known as the 
present working directory or it also prints the working directory so another useful command to change directories is the CD utility uh, let's say CD would just take us to the uh, our home directory so let's go CD space forward slash would take us to the root of the system just typing CD would take us back to our home directory uh, we could also to get back to the home directory we could also just do CD space the tilde enter and that would also take us to the home directory notice CD tilde and you'll be able to tell by the tilde here that you are in the current home directory for this user so let's just go back to the root and type PWD that way you can see you're now in the root of the system we can also go to the uh, let's say we wanted to go to the roots desktop we could do cd space tilde for the home directory forward slash desktop and we are now oh, we're now on the roots desktop and let's say we wanted to go back one folder well let's just show you here root desktop let's say we wanted to go to the back to the root folder out of desktop the previous folder we could just do cd space dot dot and that'll take us out to the root folder we could also go back to folders let's go back into the desktop for a root and let's go back to folders all the way to the root of the system we could just do cd dot dot forward slash dot dot and this would take us all the way to the root of the system so let's talk now about the ls utility which this will list the files and directories. So just typing ls, you'll see a list of directories. If we do ls space forward slash, that will list to the root. So let's go to the user's home directory. Boom. And now let's type ls. You'll see these are the available files and folders within the root home directory. If I do ls space forward slash, it would give me a list of the folders and files within the root of the system. Now if I were to type ls using the l flag, so dash l, you would see that it would list uh, list the contents of a directory, the current directory that I'm in, in long format. So it would go ahead and give me the permissions, the user, the group owner, the file size, date and time, and the folder, or file in this case here. Now, let's say let's say I wanted to see the properties of a of a specific folder, for instance, the home folder. I would go ahead and do ls dash l. Now, if I did l and then home oops, forward slash home, you'll see that it brings me the contents from within the home directory. Now let's say I wanted to just get the properties of the home directory, not necessarily the contents. I could just do ls space dash ld slash home, and you'll see that it gives me the actual attributes of that home directory. So let's go ahead, let's say I wanted to sort chronologically um, all the files within my folder, my current folder from oldest to newest. I could use the ls ltr and you'll see from oldest to newest it would list out all the files um, let's say at any time you need help figuring out what what flags to use in different cases you could use the help so we can just do ls space dash dash help and it, it would give you a list of different flags that you can use along with a short description of what each one does. Now you could also use the man utility with ls and it would also give you all the details with plus a little more information.